It's time to light up the candle. Starship. FAA just officially announced the Starship Flight 3 launch timeline. So, are you truly ready for SpaceX's upcoming special event where its giant rocket will reach orbit for the first time? Fasten your belt and find out everything in today's episode of TechMap. Recently, Elon Musk has declared confidently that SpaceX's goal for Starship Flight 3 is the second week of March or March 8th. Getting ready to do Flight 3 probably in about, um, I guess, the second week of March. Like Normally, it's like March 8th. We're trying to get it to be sooner than March 8th. This timeline immediately became a hot topic on social media with various opposite discussions. While many people expressed positive thoughts about its feasibility, many others expressed doubts. Words like only dream or implausible were repeated significantly, showing there is still a group that, you know, lacks faith in Musk's calculations no matter how smooth the situation is. Okay, let's try to put ourselves in their shoes. Every Starship launch requires one thing, a launch permit from the FAA and, of course, it's largely out of SpaceX's control. Although the company suggested its idea to the U.S. House and Senate to provide more resources to the FAA for its licensing review processes in the last October hearing, so far the problem seems not to be solved much. 143 FAA employees remain overloaded with the enormous work, so the FAA is aggressively looking to increase to 157 employees in Florida, California, Texas, and Washington, D.C. Fortunately, with many years of experience dealing with government bureaucracy, the Starship team has honed the ability to accurately grasp what is going on and search for solutions with the utmost care. As a result, Elon Musk shifted the target from February to March as we knew. So, is it feasible? We don't know, but the latest saying by Kelvin Coleman has demonstrated that Elon's time is coming closer to reality. During a press availability in February, the Administrator for Commercial Space Transportation at the Federal Aviation Administration, Kelvin Coleman, said the agency was in the process of trying to facilitate the Starship launch licensing process. From a regulatory standpoint, that timeline sounds about right. He shared, Right now we're at about 140 people and they're pedaling as fast as they can, he said. We're working on the weekends. We're working late into the night. We do need additional staff. Coleman's prediction might be based on the fact that less paperwork was needed to prepare for Flight 3 than for previous test flights. The largest fully reusable rocket ever built, Starship took its very first fly in April 2023. In contrast to Elon's goal by then, that flight caused serious damage to the launch site near Boca Chica Beach. The large chunks of concrete and dust in the surrounding wetlands raised environmental concerns. Coleman said the anomaly investigation and regulatory review process after that flight took about six months, which he believes is commensurate with the work involved. The second launch attempt in November was more successful, as no damage on the ground was recorded. In the sky, the Starship upper stage managed to separate from the booster before it experienced an anomaly and was lost. The work entailed by the FAA for this anomaly review was about one-third as much, Coleman said. Luckily, the review this time does not require FWSS involvement because there is not any damage or major changes to the launch pad. The FWS won't need to reassess. This makes time shorter. Another factor that contributes to the feasibility of Elon's goal is the readiness of Starship's hardware. At the time I made this report, Ship 28 was standing tall on Pad B ahead of its next static fire test and an S-28 igniter test was heard. After its first static fire test last December, one of Starship 28's Raptor engines was seen to have been scrapped and possibly exchanged for a new one. This replacement predicts another test later, and it has come true. Booster 10 was nearing Mega Bay 1, where it would be checked again to gear up for wet dress rehearsal. For the orbital launch tower, the stabilizer pin on one side of the chopsticks was completely cut off, and the chopsticks underwent a short test on February 23. The arrival of two trucks carrying Starship FTS explosives signifies a special step in the pre-launch preparations. While the specifics of the delivered explosives are not entirely clear, their presence indicates progress toward launch readiness. Normally, FTS installation typically occurs approximately a week before launch, highlighting the imminent nature of the upcoming mission. As the countdown to Starship Flight 3 continues, 
SpaceX is expected to accelerate its testing processes in the coming weeks to meet Elon Musk's estimated launch window. That means the couple must complete their current jobs and be stacked again early next month. Not only Flight 3 hardware, but Flight 4 hardware, including Ship 29 and Booster 11, is also almost ready, hinting at the rapid pace of progress. On February 16, we saw Ship 29 sneak out of Mega Bay 2 for a short, this vehicle underwent cryogenic testing at the Massey test site in late September and early October of 2023. As some speculation based on historical timings, engines were probably installed on Ship 29 by the 23rd of January 2024. Booster 11 has been located in Mega Bay 1 since November 19, 2023, where it received the engine and is preparing for the next tests after cryogenic tests last October. On February 3, SpaceX's tweet demonstrated the booster's readiness. Given that, they shared photos of the Mega Bay at its stay base site in South Texas, the center of Starship manufacturing and launch activities. The building is jam-packed with towering stainless steel cylinders, super heavy vehicles. The first stage of SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket, which rise nearly to the roof. Super heavy boosters for the next three flights, with a fourth ready to stack in the Starbase Mega Bay, SpaceX wrote in the post. Referring to the launch date of Flight 4, many people predict it will be around April if Flight 3 occurs as planned, meaning Ship 28 reaches orbit with 80% possibility. The success of both Flight 3 and 4 will facilitate the early launch of future flights. Thanks to that, SpaceX will have nine Starship flights this year as a set goal. Following Flight 4, SpaceX intends to have seven more Starship test flights to finish out 2024. Also in a recent press, NASA Administrator Kelvin Coleman added, SpaceX is looking at a pretty aggressive launch schedule this year. They're looking at, I believe, at least nine launches this year. That's a lot of launches. If you're doing modifications and doing them one by one, that's a lot of work. We've been talking to SpaceX constantly around the clock, coming together and trying to figure out how we do this. We're invested with the company, and so we'll work with them to get them back going as soon as they can. The impressive target, Starship's nine flights, was also confirmed by SpaceX CEO Elon Musk later. Building a city on Mars will take many launches. The word many launches hints at the plan to launch Starship for three flights per day, which is an average of 1,000 flights per year. Therefore, the current flight cadence of nine flights per year is really a small starting step but can ensure stability and certainty. Five years ago, to initiate the plan to launch and land its Starship vehicle in Texas, SpaceX had to undergo an enhanced environmental review of the site. As a part of the process, the FAA completed a final programmatic environmental assessment in June 2022. According to the assessment, SpaceX must apply for and obtain an experimental permit and slash or a vehicle operator license from the FAA Office of Commercial Space Transportation to operate the Starship and Super Heavy launch vehicle. The FAA's evaluation of a permit or license application includes a review of public safety issues such as overflight of populated areas and payload contents. The number two is national security or foreign policy concerns. The third is insurance requirements for the launch operator. And lastly, potential environmental impact. After that review, SpaceX was granted to conduct up to five Starship launches from South Texas annually. In order to meet nine launches, the company is seeking a modification of this five launch limit to accommodate a higher flight rate. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. If you want to explore more aspects of the world's most powerful rockets and the world of rockets in general, here is a selection of deeper dive videos for you. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.